Okay guys, welcome to another small calibration tutorial. This is for the new Q400 throttle from Throttle Tech. So we're gonna start the calibration on this one. You go to control panel, hardware and sound device and printers, game controllers, and go to properties, and then we go to settings and calibrate, okay? Click next. And the first thing we have to calibrate is the main thrust lever. So we start moving these guys first all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, and that's going to be three times. Okay, once you've done that, do the other one. Okay, so you set them at the middle. The middle is going to be between uh, the probably between the W the E maybe marking the E that's that's gonna be your middle approximately okay so we go back here and we hit leave them at the center hit next verify the center point hit next and then we go with the next axis so the next axis is going to be the Z axis. For the ones that have the, the cutoff switch, it's very important for you guys to put your finger here and then start moving the handle. If not, you might hit the switch, okay? This won't affect the handle calibration. So this is what you're gonna do, see? You're gonna move and try not to hit the switch. Okay? Try not to hit the switch. So we go back to the screen here. Start moving it all the way here. There we go, okay? Then we hit next, and we do the same thing with the other handle, putting your switch, uh, your uh, finger uh, before the switch, so you can move the handle. See, you start moving the handle. That's how you calibrate the handle. Okay, and those are calibrated three times, and you hit next, and then we go to the flap axis. The flap axis, to move it, you do this, see? There it is moving. All the way up, all the way down, three times. All the way up, all the way down, three times. Okay? Once that is done, you hit next, finish, and then you check your levers. So your main levers will have to move from, probably, from the upper right corner, when they're in reverse, max, to the lower uh, left corner when they're toga. See? So they're moving perfectly. Now let's check the condition levers. See, condition levers are moving. There we go. See, and there, there are the switches, which um, we'll, we'll try to disconnect the switches from here because they're no longer needed. So it's working and we check up the flaps. Flaps are there and then we check all the switches. So we check the, yep, there's a switch for the, sorry guys, let me check, this is a switch for the, see, this is the switch for the gust lock, there you go, and then we check the parking brake, there you go, and that's it guys, this is how you calibrate the Dash Q400 throttle, hit apply, okay, and you're ready for the sim. Okay guys, now you run Prepare 3D. So Prepare 3D is here. You go then to whatever you have, Majestic software, you know, set up. So we go here and we go to the control panel. We open the control panel and we go to engine controls. First of all, and before we use the engine controls, you have to make sure that the throttle, every single handle is set correctly for each axis. How do you do this? It's very easy. You go to options and you go to controls. In any controls, you can go to axis, axis assignments, go to axis assignments, and then you check 
that the axes are set up properly. The propeller and the throttles are according to each of the levers in the throttle. Okay, guys, if not, it's not gonna work. Check that the flaps there, okay? It's there, okay? And then it's very easy. So once we check everything is set up and it's assigned, we're gonna go to the control panel. This is the easy part. So we go to the majestic control panel. Here we are. And then what we have to do, guys, is when you move the throttle, see, you're gonna see the position of the throttle moving. So when I go all the way to Toga, see, I get 64534. So see, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna type 64534. This allows me for each input, input position, to give a detent to each lever. So, so if we go and go to the next position, which is the, the detent, we have 55910. Five, so we go 55910, five, we write 55910. Five, Nine zero here, and there we go. So we're gonna go to flight idle. We have um, eighteen nineteen one eight. So we go here, and we type eighteen nine one eight. Then the reverse, the disconnect. Sorry, we hit. It's gonna be nine zero eight eight. So we write up nine zero eight eight. So whatever you have in the position, you have to put. Then what we do is we put apply. And then we have restart the, the whole thing for it to work. Okay, guys, I already placed them. So, see, D10, everything is working. Reversers here. There you go. Let me get back to the positions we want. So, let me give you a better shot. Of the throttle here doing the moves so here we go now this one sorry guys here you go once again it's because there's a switch installing here. There you go. And then the flaps. And that's it, guys. That's how you set up the throttle.